Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's your girl, Poketo. Um, and today I'm shooting in my kitchen. I'm not sure if it's echoey or not, but I'm shooting in my kitchen. I've missed it a lot. I haven't been here in like a very long time. Like over a month. I haven't been in my apartment for over a month. And I'm back here. I'm in love with the blue behind me. So I decided to just do it, you know, like, yeah. Anyway, so this video is about my journey of getting my two jabs. Um, yeah, I know there's a whole lot of stuff happening in South Africa and my country. Um, and the world, actually. I think a whole lot of people don't want to get vaccinated for their own known reasons. Um, but yeah, I think it is a scary journey when you are fed with a whole lot of, you know, one-sided not only just one-sided but like um fake news and also the reality as well of people like passing on and i say reality it is a reality reality of people passing on after you know taking the jab um we have lost a person in my family um i don't want to say because of the vaccination but after they got vaccinated um, which made my mom go crazy, to be honest. I think my mom, if she could, she was gonna like call me every second. Or go get Oscar. Oscar. The second one. Um, but yeah, it's been a real scary journey for my family as well. My mom specifically, and like Mama Lujana because. <laughs> Mama Lujana would just text me randomly like because I did right, you know. But anyway, I understand the fears, I understand where they're coming from and stuff. Let me backtrack a bit, right? Because how did you get ahead? I mean you're so young, you're not even in the age group of people who are getting vaccinated at the moment um, and even when I got my first job. So I happen to have been doing research and some work um, at a field hospital that I will not mention, um, but it was a COVID-19 field hospital in Gauteng. Um, I was in the ward where like people on oxygen, like the oxygen ward. Of course I would go into the other wards now and then. Um, but yeah, so I got the privilege and I say privilege because I did, I was a bit, you know, unsettled a bit about the whole vaccination thing. But then eventually my heart was like, Miguel, get vaccinated. Um, Cause also get a <laughs> But yeah, so that's how I was able to be ahead in the queue ahead of my age mates my age group um in the queue of registering and also receiving the jab it was because i was one of the people that helped health workers and doing social sciences research in the covid 19 field hospital um yeah so anyway um that is how i got it right i got my first jab somewhere around june i forgot the date Right. On the day, the day before, to be honest, my neighbors can tell you, I was a bit scared. Like once I got the SMS, I was very excited. Like, yeah, finally it's happening. I'm getting my first jab. Right. Um, and then even though I am someone who would, you know, like encourage people to get vaccinated, I'm also that person who, when it was my turn, I got a bit shaken. I won't lie, I got a bit shaken. I was with Federica um, and Atish, and I was like, guys, listen, I got my SMS, and I'm really you, you, like, looking forward to go and get my drive. Also, because I didn't want to be in that predicament where I had my turn, like a chance to do it, and then later on in my age, my age group can do it, um, because I don't go when I could. They're like, oh, well, you know, I'm not trying to sound like I never really know, but my mind is just like going on and on and on. Um, but yeah, so I didn't really take pictures. Okay, I did take a picture and you guys will see just now. Uh, 
um, after I got my first jab and the process is you get the SMS, um, they give you a link, you need to take your ID book and because I had registered um, under a certain number of house workers and stuff, I needed to take that with me as well. Um, and when I got there, you know, they ask you questions and I would advise being honest when you answer the questions, don't go if you're sick. Don't, go, don't get it. I would rather miss it, you know, on the day if I'm sick or feeling weak or whatever. And, and I'm saying this because it's one of the questions that they ask, like, are you sick? Have you had COVID-19? And the, when I went the first time, sorry, when I went the first time, the nurse asked me if I had had COVID in the last 90 days, right? And I was honest, like, I don't know because I, like not that I'm aware of and I said that because I didn't have any symptoms and I am a firm believer that you know and I think there is research um, proof that some people can get it and like not have that much of a reaction like their bodies don't show that they have had COVID and stuff and that's probably how we're also spreading this virus everywhere um, yeah so that's what I said they asked if I was pregnant I'm like not that I know of I'm joking I said no <laughs> I said I'm not pregnant. Um, I don't know if you can't have if you can't take the jab when you're pregnant. Maybe I should have asked more, but I guess I didn't ask because I'm not in that situation. Um, and they also asked me if, um, if I'm feeling weak, like in my body. You know, like how am I feeling? You know, I just became honest about everything. I was like, oh, well, my body does retain water, so I don't know if that would be. A disadvantage for me and they were just like no that's not um, and then the nurse also asked me which arm which hand do I use the most you know and I was like oh well I use right a lot you know like yeah so I got my jab on my left side of the arm my mother when I told my mom the <laughs> like the hand the arm that's like right next to the heart why that one <laughs> my mom is not for vaccination like at all at all at all mm? she's a teacher eh? and she got the chance to go get her vaccine mm? and she decided please miss me miss me with your triple six shenanigans i will not do that to myself um but then again i tried to talk into it but i was like you know what mama do you boo do you you know just as much as you can't stop me from getting it i also i'm not gonna like try to convince you to get it but we did have like lengthy discussions so when i got to this i was like do what your heart tells you because that's at the end of the day that's what people you know want to do and feel um that they are in the right space of mind and the body also you know you don't want to be getting now i don't know how placebo effects work but like you don't want to be getting after effects mainly because you were forced and you know like um really how many anything and we feel like your mind is telling you that you're feeling things um so those are the questions that they asked me and stuff um and then that lady wow she has she has really good hands because like her hands are really good and i told her so i was like yo oh, how perfect i don't feel when she injected me right at some point i even questioned if she really injected me with the vaccine i was like i go are you done and she was like yeah she's done um after that you leave that place you go to an observation room where they give you a timer for 15 minutes you sit um for 15 minutes so they can observe you like whether you're gonna faint or whether you're gonna have any type of you know dramatic or subtle whatever you know um symptoms in that 15 minutes before you leave um and yeah i didn't feel anything my body didn't feel anything for the longest time until I think from I got mine at around 10 a.m. and it's only like from like 4 p.m. that I could feel the hardness, right? So I was like, yo, 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 like my arm flip, you know, when you just like, and then it's like, oh wow, that hurts. Um, so that is uh, an expected and normal um, after effect, where like at the site of the injection part, like it gets hard. Someone explained this. So well for me um it's because the muscle tears you know 
and it's that feeling that you get for those of you who work out it's that feeling just in the very small like this little spot um and mine was also just a bit swollen a bit like got a gunga nyana so it wasn't really a dramatic thing um and yeah so that's how i got like um that was my first experience i didn't have any type of i didn't have anything you know and i refrained from telling my mom or kikrele jabia kai matoma until the following day and the reason for this is because i didn't want my mom to call me every second guys like i didn't want her to call me every second or are you alive what's happening are you good are you shot eh, you know those type of things um so even when I told her the following day because I couldn't keep it from her I told her and I told her to say oh granny hope I'll send phone later second mama because I'm fine um and another person uh, a little bird also told me that if I have if I feel any pain I should not like have like heavy medication just like anything with paracetamol um and yeah just not heavy stuff I don't know what heavy stuff are and I'm not into medicine and stuff so i don't know you know the the, the things but like panado grandpa yeah you can have um from what they said and it is came also that i'm saying i am just giving you my like information based on my experience right now he is social sciences guys don't ask me now he is social scientist guys don't know what is um so yeah anyway fast forward to my second jab right so the first one i took it in santon at the momentum thing the second one i was in cape town so i took it at the i'll show you some park do my god everybody was also a momentum center i don't want to go to the public hospital because i don't want the long 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 queues but anyway, I ended up being in a very long queue because the 35 and above group age groups had, you know, started already and the elderly people had already, you know, they well, they don't stop. I guess it doesn't stop for different age groups. Um yeah, so same procedure, same thing, only that now I had my little card. Um Yes. So the only difference with the second time, right? So from the first time I had my um, card that they gave me, um, the details are on this side. I don't think you need to see that. Um, I got this card for my first one. And then the second one, um, I got the... Oh, how do I do this? I got the government card so i'm hiding the last digit of my id number so i got the government one i know a lot of people have this one um so that's why i mean to keep both of them right so this one it says um that you know i got pfizer which is the same thing as this one it also says i got pfizer right um and that you know on this card because i have not taken my shot at this place or before they could actually oh this thing that they do never really works uh, i don't know what to do but this one says that this card was for my second dose um i received my first sms to go and get the vaccination um to get vaccinated and then i received a second one once i got vaccinated to say i will be scheduled in six weeks to get my second vaccination i mean my second dose and then after getting the second dose, I got another SMS, the third SMS. Um, that said that uh, I'm fully vaccinated. I have two doses and it also gave me a reference number that I'm meant to keep. So I've just pinned all those SMSs at the top. I've even emailed, like screenshot them and email them to myself just in case I need proof in the future I don't know but um, these two cards I need to keep them safe um, yeah just like my ID book just to have it as proof um, so I got the Pfizer one sorry I didn't say it. I got the Pfizer one 
but really that doesn't say anything about the Johnson & Johnson one. I just, this, the Johnson & Johnson one was not available when I got the Pfizer one, uh, when I got my first dose. And yeah, so it was only Pfizer that was available. So it's not like you can choose, you can't choose. You don't have the option to choose. They tell you which one they're giving you. Um, I guess also it's because they're trying to not have the whole like people of Ifika, you know, Jane Jacob, Pfizer, that type of thing. Um, otherwise, yes, that is my journey. And this is literally, I think it's been a little over two weeks after having my second dose. And another thing that I realized, right, the more you use the arm, just like I said, when your muscles are stiff after exercising, you just need to continue stretching and stuff. Same thing with the arm. Just need to continue using it. And yeah, my um, the soreness around my um, this, where they got more than thing, guys. It was so or rather tense for like a week. Some people is two days. Like my friend ha also has a video, and Zai, you can also follow her and Zatiba. Um, uh, on her YouTube channel, she also has a video, and you know, for her it was just two days. Um, but then again, like I said, it depends. Not like I said, I've said this to other people, um, but it depends on everyone's body. Um, so this is my experience. I didn't have any. Oh yes, second time, second time around, I did get a headache, right? A pressure headache. I could feel that. I could feel it better. It's a pressure headache, but I do get pressure headaches. A, uh, a lot of times when I put my head against something for too long, right? So from that experience, I just thought, well, okay, maybe you get these, like your body react how it would react to any other problem that you may have, like, you know, but it depends on each each person's um, body, the immune system and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's my experience and whether it helps you to decide to get the jab or not, I hope it kind of has given you some type of clarity. Thank you guys and goodbye.